Recently, in the Idea Factory, I've been getting a lot of requests to overclock the Oculus Quest 2 and then install Windows 10 on it. And instantly when I saw those, I was like, that is the dumbest idea I have ever heard of. We need to make it happen. As many of you may know, the Idea Factory is a place where you guys can post your ideas. It doesn't matter how stupid they are, we can make them happen on this channel. So that is exactly what we're doing today. We are installing Windows 10 on the Oculus Quest 2. There's no way this is gonna run well. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So going into this, I want to make sure those of you that actually end up trying it know this will not work well. We've done something similar to this in the past where we installed Linux on the Oculus Quest 2 and that didn't run very well either. Sure, we've got multiple benefits now like a working infinite office and I'm saying working because well now we get to resize windows and stuff like that so that's really cool which does make things a lot easier but it's still kind of a pain to get going and you'll see why in a second. So first thing you're going to want to do in case you're following along with me is you're going to need Termux which is a terminal app for Android, and you're also going to need VNC Viewer. This will allow you to connect to the virtual machine once we create it. Since the Oculus Quest 2 is still not rooted and the OS is not available to us, and even if it was, we wouldn't really be able to install Windows on it since that's x86 and the Quest 2 is ARM64, those architectures just don't match. But anyway, that being said, we are installing Windows 10 on the Oculus Quest 2, just inside a virtual machine. So first thing you want to do is get a Termux APK somewhere from the internet. They actually have it on their main website and get a VNC viewer APK. You can also get them by downloading them onto an Android phone and using an APK extractor. But once you have those, you need to sideload those apps to your Oculus Quest 2. The way I did it is I just used SideQuest on my computer, but in case you guys don't have a computer and just want to use an Android phone, I've got multiple tutorials on how you can get that done right up here. So once you've got those two apps on your Oculus Quest 2, I'm going to make a rec re recommendation. Get yourself an OTG adapter. This one here is slightly overpowered. All you need is Type-C to USB. Why? Because if you want to type out all of these commands on the Oculus Quest 2 virtual keyboard, go ahead and do so, but you're gonna have a very fun time doing that. So what I did is I actually got myself this adapter and connected a USB keyboard to it. Makes life so much easier. Along with those APKs, you will also require the Windows 10 ISO. Whether you are fully installing Windows 10 or whether you're just booting it from a live ISO like I did, you're gonna have two choices. You can either download the official Windows 10 install ISO from Microsoft, or you can use a Windows XPE ISO like I did from this YouTube video right over here. So next thing you want to do is you want to launch Termux. I was actually unable to show this to you guys simply because the Oculus Quest 2 does not allow recording of Termux for whatever reason. That's like one of those apps that just goes dark if you try to record it. But once you're in Termux, it's super simple. Type in apt space update space the symbol and and another symbol and space apt space upgrade space minus Y. And of course, those commands will be down in the description below, as well as showing up on screen probably while I'm speaking them out, but type that in and press enter. Your quest should go through a bunch of uh, loading code and download all the updates it needs from repositories, etc, etc. Once you've done that, type in pkg space install space x11 dash repo. Once you have that command down, type in pkg space install space QEMU dash system dash x86 underscore 64 and press enter. And again, we're just running through a bunch of commands here. So this is where the USB keyboard comes in handy. Make sure to just accept any prompt that shows up. Some prompts might show up asking you to type in either the letter Y or the letter N or anything like that. Just keep going through them, accepting everything. After that, type in Termux, T-E-R-M-U-X dash setup dash storage. Press enter and this should ask your quest for permission for Termux to use your storage. So, you know, you're going to get the usual prompt showing up in front of you saying, hey, can Termux use storage? Just click yes. Now is a good time to get that Windows 10 ISO that you downloaded earlier. Now it's important to note that this is kind of a modified version of Windows 10 so that it kind of bypasses the setup. It's based on the recovery system for Windows 10. So it will load up much faster if you 
feel like waiting the one hour for the setup for Windows 10 to load in and then realize that you haven't created a virtual drive to install Windows 10 on, feel free to do that exact same procedure, but I won't be doing that here. <laughs> then once you've done that, create a folder on your Oculus Quest 2's main internal storage, whether you want to do that through side quest or whether you want to do that through a file manager you've side loaded onto the quest, whichever way suits you, but create a folder called Win 10, capital W, so W-I-N 10. Then drag the Windows 10 ISO that you downloaded earlier into that folder. How you get it into that folder? There is multiple different ways. You can download it onto the Quest, use a file manager on the Quest, use a PC, use a phone. There's a bunch of different ways to do that. You must get that ISO into that folder. Once you've gotten it into that folder, run this command right here. This should launch the VM using that ISO as a live ISO, as a CD-ROM, using two gigabytes of RAM from your Oculus Quest 2. I haven't yet figured out how to give it more CPU cores or anything like that, but it's certainly using the CPU because the usage definitely jumps up. Okay, now that you've done all that, launch VNC Viewer. Once you're in VNC Viewer, add a new VNC machine and type in the IP address of 127.0.0.1 colon 2. Name the machine Windows 10 or whatever you want to call it. Press OK, accept the prompt saying it's an unauthorized connection, blah, 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 and press OK. You should start loading into Windows 10. This is going to take a while. It took me about 15 minutes or so, so definitely not the longest boot time in existence here. But once you do boot in, what do you get? Let's find out. So you can see it here right in front of me. This is running straight from the Quest. There is no virtual machine that I'm connected through, through any desk or anything like that. All of this is running straight on the Quest. And you can see right here, it's working. We have no audio drivers, it seems. Uh, we don't have a lot of drivers, including network drivers, which does make this quite useless. Uh, also, using the mouse on this is probably the largest pain I have ever had to endure, ever, full stop. Uh, trying to launch anything is, well, you'll see, I clicked on Explorer there, we'll have to wait and see how long it takes for it to turn on. The mouse is probably the largest pain in, in all of this, like, absolutely, I do have to, uh, say that. Launching the start menu is, uh, fun, to say the least. As you can tell, it's not running, like, something that you would genuinely want to use. Um, going into properties, I'm going to be able to show you guys that this is, as a matter of fact, running Windows 10, maybe, hopefully, who knows. Oh, look, there is the, there is the menu. It finally loaded in. So on my phone, this ran better. I did overclock the quest uh, using side quest commands, so it's not really a true overclock, but until we get root access, we can't truly overclock it. But as you can probably tell, this is just not a very good experience. I bet other people have better ways of doing this, maybe being able to allocate more RAM, maybe being able to allocate more CPU. And as I said, this does run better on my phone, and supposedly the XR2 is supposed to be better than my phone CPU. As you can see, it works. We are running Windows 10 on the Oculus Quest 2. But for anybody that thought this would be very nice to be able to, for example, run Steam VR on, I, I think you might be slightly disillusioned. I'm very sorry, sir or ma'am, but you're not running Steam VR on this for reasons that should be quite obvious. First of all, there's no internet. So even if you were to do anything on this, well, you'd be kind of stuck to get any files on it or anything like that. There is a a uh, thing here called PEN Network. I've not tried clicking into it, and I really don't want to try clicking into it. So after I was done recording, it did actually open up. <laughs> I have no idea why it took it this long. But here you go. Uh, as you can see right here, it's it's running at that two gigabytes of RAM that I allocated it using that command. It is running at uh, one gigahertz CPU, and it's booted in BIOS mode, whatever that's supposed to mean. But as you can see right here, it's running fully blown Windows 10. We also have display settings open for whatever reason, I don't know. The mouse control on this, it, it's actually just using the mouse is just pain. Is this, is, is this gonna, oh, 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 it's very unhappy with me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's fine. Uh-oh. Oh, I killed it. I killed it, all right. Okay, we crashed it. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Uh, what can I say? It's, it's a proof of concept, at least. It's running a 32-bit version 
of Windows 10. Once you do finally manage to open the properties and the place where it shows that it's running Windows 10, etc, etc, it does say it's running a 32-bit version of Windows, and for some reason, I'm just not very surprised. The fact that a 32-bit version of Windows takes 15 minutes to launch on the Oculus Quest 2, it's just a fun experiment. We did it for the sake of science, and I did it so that you don't have to. If you do want to install the full version of Windows 10 on this, using a Windows 10 install ISO, potentially it should work. Just please do yourself a favor and remember to create a virtual hard disk. How do you create a virtual hard disk? I have no clue. So you're gonna need to Google that because I, I don't know. It is possible and it does run something that would have been impossible maybe even two years back. Two years back, we were not running Windows on our phones, not even emulating Windows on our phones. That was just kind of a dream and you'd see all these fake YouTube videos showing you how to install Windows on your phone, but it would actually just be you connecting to your PC using any desk or something like that. Here we are in 2021 emulating Windows 10 on our phones which is just a really cool gimmick, but we will not be running Steam VR on it anytime soon. And while it's cool, I don't really see any use cases for it. Unless, I don't know, you manage to install maybe Microsoft Word on it or something and connect that USB keyboard and mouse, then you have a fully blown working Windows PC on your Quest 2. Sure, it's very slow to launch any app, but once it launches, it's actually quite nice. So I don't know, kind of depends what you want to do with it, I guess. I thought this was a really stupid idea, which means we officially needed to make it happen. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. Let me know down below whether you guys did this, whether you're planning on doing it, or whether you've installed fully blown windows on your Oculus Quest 2. Because again, that's possible. So uh, I really want to hear your guys' opinions on this, why you wanted me to do this, and what you think this could lead to in the future. Because that's the exciting thing of doing this. You, you kind of do a proof of concept and they're like, oh yeah, this could be really cool in the future. So yeah, that is going to be it. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, make sure to join our Discord down below, make sure to join our Reddit, where I want to see you posting your spicy memes. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, we've got sick mugs down below that boost your FPS by 300% and merch that does not put a huge ad in your body. Thank you so much to the Patreons supporting this channel. You guys are helping me out a whole ton, creating these videos, making them better every time, buying better gear, stuff like that. So. Thank you so much. If you guys would like to be notified about future content coming up on the channel daily, make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.